Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Joffrey Noodle Legs here today with little Sullivan. He's here with me. Um, got a triple unboxing today. Quite exciting day. Um, and I'm expecting another box tomorrow. Uh, but I've got a triple unboxing today. Uh, two are uh, I'm really uh, looking forward to and can't wait. One, a little bit boring. Okay, so the boring one I've got is this one from um, Live Food UK. That's basically going to be live food for my animals. Um, then I received one from uh, my dear friend Jeremy again, from Jeremy's Wild World. That's going to be on here. And last but not least, I've got a lovely package from uh, my dear, dear, wonderful friends, uh, Leah and Terry of Unusual Pets. So I've got an unboxing from them to do. So... That's cool. Got even a sticker there, which is really cool. So I've got three unboxings to do today. Yay! So let's crack on, shall we? Let's do the boring one first, shall we? The live food. Uh, there's not going to be anything exciting in here, guys. The live Food UK, I tend to buy all my live food from. Just good prices. Their postage is about £5, but it's next day. Um, so that's pretty cool. And most of their tubs are about sort of like £2 something each. So this whole delivery plus uh, postage was ten was a tenner. So let's see what I've got for ten pound. Um, got some wax worms, uh, which are cool. I, I love to these for like my uh, juveniles and sort of like my uh, um, ones that are close to molting out. Uh, so that they have wax worms and there's about fifty in there. So this will last me a couple of weeks. The only thing with these, what I would say, if you ever get wax worms, don't leave them near heat. Because if you put them by the heat, they pupate quite quick and they turn into moths. Um, I believe a, a lot of the animals will still eat the moths. But um, yeah, keep them in a sort of uh, out of the heat, out of the sunlight. And, you know, you can, if you've got space in the fridge and you don't mind sort of like having a few little things, these are harmless sort of thing in the fridge like that. That would probably keep them alive a bit longer. Um, and I've got a couple of tubs of crickets. I got first of all, I got um, this sort of medium-sized crickets. Look at them all going mad there. So they're medium to large. There's absolutely hundreds in there. Yeah. So this cost me a, un, a ten, under a tenner because the postage is fiver. So all this was a fiver. And these are uh, the these are mini crickets. Uh, for a tiny, for my smaller inverts, um, like my new uh, jumping spider, um, that's what they'll probably be getting. And anything that's quite small, some of my overgrown slings or stuff like that. So that's that. So I got that. That so that was a tenner. So you've got three, two tubs of crickets of different sizes, and that. Normally I order a bit more than that. I normally order medium to large locusts. Um, and I also normally have uh, red runners. So all that together plus postage is normally about sort of um, just over fifteen quid, something like that. And they always come alive, and they always come in really good condition. So really happy with them. That's Live Food UK, really cool. So let's get to the unboxings. Um, you, first of all, let's have a look at the one I've got from my dear friend Leah. Um, this is from Leah and Terry of Unusual Pets. Now, they went to the Seas show a um, week or so ago. And I asked them if they could pick this up for me there. Because I found out from Phil from Incredible Inverts and Other Animals that they did have this animal there, this invert. Which I've been after for a while. Got some uh, lovely new stickers of Leah's. These are really cool. They're like foily. Really nice. They'll be going with my sticker collection. I must do a board. I was thinking of putting one up on the wall there. Uh, but that's really, really cool. And I asked her to pick this up for me. So, uh... What's it go? She's very... She's, Leah's right on it. She's very cute, but feisty. <laughs> so what's that telling you? And in here, I've got my heat pack. And I've got to say, Leah, that is red hot still. So well done with that. Uh, a lot of people put heat packs in, but...
but don't actually start because to start them you've got to do this and, and just sort of like make them alive then they come alive I when I if I've sent a couple of things off before and I've always done it and I always make sure it's red hot before I actually send it off and that is red hot so well done Leah thanks for that love let's move that big box out of the way so we'll pop that down there so handle with care so I'm gonna go with uh, Leah's advice and be very careful she double boxed it again so that's gonna really help the baby in here more packing peanuts let's move them out of the way I'll put them in the wrong box and the animals in there and it's not a mealworm it's in there um, and I am not going to take the lid off it um, just because I don't want to take that risk but I'll tell you what's in there it's a um, Israeli gold uh, which is a scorpion okay so this is a um, they're also known as the I think the giant clawed scorpion they're not they don't grow to too big they they normally grow about that sort of size about sort of three inch size um and they are a desert scorpion they like a sort of dry arid environment so what i'm going to be doing because i don't want to spoil it <clears throat> i want to save this uh and it's going to go on a separate video where i'm going to set up its home and rehouse it so i'm going to be doing that today obviously but the video will come out at a later date so that's going to get its own video and this is a moria worm no it's not it's the uh, israeli gold scorpion so she's going to be fine i'm no she, she it is a female um leah told me it's a female um she picked this up from uh, i believe a venomous visions i'm not quite sure but she picked it up at the sea show for me so i really really can't wait to see this little baby um yeah but she's cute and feisty scorpions are you know there's, there's not many scorpions that are not feisty to be honest um your desert hairy scorpion are feisty um and uh things like your, your little dune uh scorpions are all feisty and obviously even your asian forest scorpions can be a little bit um my, my beautiful um eggnog every time i open the closure the claws are up the tails up <laughs> it's like you know it, it's it, it's just the way they are they're just protecting themselves because and that's how they survived all these millions of years they were here before humans <coughs> i believe they're probably here before um spiders um these were probably some of the early arachnids and you got to think that these are here since prehistoric times so they've managed to survive the planet um a lot longer than a lot of other animals so that is awesome thanks for picking that up for me leah awesome you're a true friend thank you so much absolutely dead chuffed and i will be um doing the um uh, unboxing and rehousing of it in its own separate video i'm not going to open the lid because i don't want to spoil seeing it until i've done the actual thing so you might not get to see many animals in this it's just going to be an unboxing so that's what I got from uh, from 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 Leah's unusual pets and a couple of stickers. So that's cool. So now we're going to go to this next box, which is from my dear friend Jeremy. Now Jeremy's is such a lovely guy. He's so cool. I've had quite a few animals from him. Now I've had um, my huntsman spiders. I've had um, uh, my tailless whip scorpion. Uh, uh, I've also had my um, a Samani from him uh, and you may remember in my early video a jumping spider so he sent me another box I think because you remember when I told you he sent some other things in there and some of them arrived deal, dead on arrival um, unfortunately it's not his fault or my fault it, they just took so long in the post to get to me uh, and it just happens this sometimes it's one of the worst things about the hobby is it, it can happen occasionally um but he sent me out another box he said i'm gonna send you a couple other things mate because you know I mean, okay this was a uh i entered a competition with uh, unseen universe 
at Christmas time, their raffle. They did one every 24 days of Christmas, and I, I won one, and um, I won a, Jer a Jeremy Wild World mystery box. So, really cool. Like I said, he did send out the first one, and I've got the jumping spider from that for that one and he's uh sort of kind of a little bit of replacements from some of the ones that were in the other box that didn't make it so he sent me out another box which is really kind of him because he didn't have to he did not have to you know and to be honest i was happy with the jumping spider so it's all cool so let's see what he sent out okay he has sent out to me Cuberus species panda king. So I believe these are isopods. Uh, let's have a little look. See if we can see any of the little babies in here. They're all going to be in this bit of a uh, moss, I believe. Let's have a quick look. See if I can open the moss up and see if I can see any. Yeah, I can see one. I'll pop him in my hand. Well, there he is on my finger. Don't know if I'm going to get him on the camera. Do you see him? Let me focus that in a bit. There we go, see? It's a little isopods. So these are the little panda kings. So that's really cool. Thanks, Jeremy. Don't know how many are in there. Um, but I will... Um, do these in another video I will do a setup for them and I will post that up as soon as I've uh, made a video of these being rehoused so that's cool panda king isopods awesome thank you so much mate uh, Jeremy's put a heat pad in there yeah it's warmish it's lost it's a little bit lost it's a uh, like where's Leah's one is, is hotter than my room, but yeah, that's really cool. Oh, something else in here. Uh, Phidippus regus ras, rastafati blue female. So that is another jumping spider. So don't know the common name for it. I struggle with the uh, the main name for it. So again, I'll try it again. Phidippus Regius Rastafari Blue Female. So that's going to be a jumping spider. So I've got another jumping spider to house. So that'll be another video, guys. So once again, I will I will do a separate video for that i don't want to do any housings on this video uh mainly because i don't want it to be too long and so you know because i just wanted this to be an unboxing video just check your box guys just to make sure i've heard nightmare stories of people um like mostly from like sellers like um so many legs or ports of tranches they put freebies in there people have not known and they just think oh they, they'll chuck out all the uh the packing peanuts <laughs> and they've chucked out actually a, a spider or something but there we go that's my unboxing so that's quite cool i've had three invert boxes not what and uh no tarantulas that's that's quite cool and original for me so i've got the uh wax worms crickets uh the um israeli gold scorpion uh a jumping spider and some isopods so I'm, I'm gonna be a busy lad in i doing some of these videos so thank you so much for watching i'd love to thank leah and terry of unusual pets for that for picking up excuse me that scorpion that i've been looking at for a while and i'm dead chuffed to have that in my collection and i'd love to thank jeremy again what an amazing chap for for going to uh, above and beyond really i mean like i said he'd already sent me out a mystery box and he's even sent me out some more bits and i'm dead chuffed so thanks so much mate absolute legend um fingers crossed these are all right i'm gonna let them before i sort of rehouse them when i always get new things 
I tend to put them a little bit close to my radiator, just for an hour, half an hour to an hour, just to bring them around to, to sort of like room temperature. Uh, just because I've been on a cold journey and, um, you know, I just want to warm them up to my environment. So I'd have another look at my little isopods. Yeah, there's another one having a little wonder in there. Just there. So, yeah, that's cool. I love the smell of moss. Don't know. I will put this into my enclosure. Um, isopods, they like uh, a sort of um, a 50-50 kind of a substrate where it's sort of like one side's a little bit drier than the other. Just so they've got that option. And they love things like... Uh, leaf litter and rotten wood uh, to feed them i tend to give them little bits of carrot uh, to gnaw on and i'll give them things like i've got some goldfish food i'll give them that i will give them some um other little things like that that they, they like a little mixture of sort of foods um but yeah they can eat fish food they can eat bits of everything really they are pretty much a lot of people use um, isopods in their tarantula um, um, enclosures for um, cleanup crew. You know, they, they clean up the, uh, they clean up all the sort of like bits that the spider leaves behind. And dare I say it, you probably even spider poop. They will probably eat that up, and that's because they are scavengers, a bit like your um, springtails and things like that, where they will scavenge. To, oh, I need to get some springtails. Uh, I really do. Um, they will scavenge. So that that's that. They're a great animal, and they're really fascinating to watch. And there's so many um, of them. If you really want to know more about isopods, please go over to my dear friend's Phil channel, um, Credible Inverts and Other Animals, because I, I think it's one of his favourite um, species of inverts. Uh, he, 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 he gets very expensive ones because some of them go for a lot of money um, and he loves them. So go over in his channel and check him out. Uh, please check out some channels for me, please, guys, till my next video. Check out Leah's Unusual Pets, amazing channel. Check out Jeremy's, Jeremy's Wild Well, please. And don't forget, don't just watch the video, subscribe, you know, and like the videos, please. It really helps them all out. And please go and check out uh, Mark the Spider Guy, Spider Mum 1978, RS Designs, Unseen Universe, um, Tea in the Deep Blue Sea, Moon Over Miami, uh, Dave's, Dave's Little Beasties, Tom's Big Spiders, all amazing channels, guys. Go and check them all out. Till next time, look after yourselves, look after one another, and I really hope I'll see you all soon. Thanks again, guys.